Mulch. By the way, good morning. Good morning. Now we're going all the way to Swananoa to get mulch because why, boss? You forgot to go to the Arden one. I forgot to go to the one by our house and then we're just going to go to this one instead because it's closer to the job. Yeah, look at all the daffodils. Oh, wow. Look at the mountain. And look, it's snowing up there on the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that is snow, guys. Yeah, so originally we had a pruning scheduled for today um but as you guys know when you prune you send the plant into somewhat of a shock um even if it is dormant yeah you know you put it into a stress level so we don't want to stress the plant by pruning it and then get a freeze yeah um, because it's supposed to go down to 25 tonight yeah so rather we just wait a week wait until next week when it's going to be in the at night. Yeah. So. Boss is fighting with me over mulch. Well, because you can mix it up and make it like rejuvenated a little bit again. I like the darker color mulches. Yeah, but the problem with the darker color mulches is that they turn gray. Yeah, they do. Because Unless you have double ground oak, that stays the longest. But why couldn't we do double ground oak, news. boss? Very sad news. Our mulch yard told us because they're a byproduct company and they get products from mills and sawmills and cabinet companies that everybody, the demand for ash and cherry and all that is way higher than oak and the demand for oak plummeted so they don't get many oak wood chips and the pile we seen there was the last pile of mulch yeah. that they were going to have that's double ground oak that's mm -hmm. the kind we used last year so it would have been enough to do this yard but we just decided to go ahead and jump on the double ground pine we're going to go into double ground pine with all of our yards now Mm -hmm. Um, they had a pine hardwood mix, but it's too chunky. I like the stuff that's not as chunky. Yeah. So the boss has me out here in the snow doing our first mulch job of the year, boss. Yeah, it's cold. We were supposed to stay home, but instead of pruning, he talked me into mulching. We can only, it's only one and yeah, a half Yeah, it's only yards. one and a half yards, so. Because our, well, mul our mulch yard's on a winter hours and they close at two o'clock. Yeah. And you, you'll see why we didn't get out until... 12 because we came had an idea on something with the truck we did so yeah something else he talked me into yeah i talked her into if you notice we don't have a cat back there no more yeah so you guys noticed that we're not in the silver truck and we got mulch yes so the cab came off but what's the number one rule you told me um no rocks she won't let me put rocks in the back yeah so rocks, the silver truck is still gonna get used for rocks. And this was strictly just because it's so cold today, honestly, that we did not want to drive this silver truck. Um, and it's for the better anyway, I think. Yeah. The boss yeah, the says, silver oh, truck's a little bit she, older. She's like, than... you better not scratch my car up. I said, there's scratches all over your truck, boss. No, it's a work truck. I mean, there's, you know, yeah, it's a work truck. But whatever. So we're going to get out here yeah. and mulch this. We'll let's show you how we do it. Did you say that's a good idea? I, well, no. I said, yeah, let's get to work. Okay. She <laughs> doesn't want to get out at all. but No, but if I'm going to, I'm just going to go out and do it. Okay. <laughs> so here's what we're using, double ground pine. Um, you guys seen we prepped all the beds here. We'll show you how we mulch, how much we lay down and everything. Oh, we got to get everything set up and ready, though. So let's go ahead. And we'll probably be able to get this bed done, this bed done. And maybe half of that one done so we'll see <laughs> wait what mission are you on range <laughs> to get this unloaded as soon as possible so you can go home in the warm yeah really in my warm bed with a cup of coffee <laughs> you know the guys up north would say to you ah suck it up and get out there these are coming from Jersey people. So guys, when you do the mulch here, um, look, we have this, some people call it a uh, trench. Um, we like doing that though, because we don't like the mulch 
to wash out and when you edge it over time it makes it easier i better get my gloves on yeah. it makes it easier and we put it right below this line right here yes. so it's not a big, big deep valley and it ends up looking really nice so we'll give you the after but generally we do three inches deep with mulch obviously not as much around the base of the yeah plant. not as much around the base back there um and guys when you're doing plantings you want to make sure it's all cleared out underneath so airflow gets underneath your yeah, plants yeah, um i do see people they'll prune their plants shape them really nice even homeowners shape them really nice and then they bring them down to the ground um and they don't curve it underneath to get all that airflow underneath your um underneath your plants and bushes it's very important to keep disease away okay but and look here's one last other thing yes i am down and i am spreading this by hand but again you have to understand the type of business that we are we're more detailed and our our clients pay for this yes so, so and spreading it by hand somebody is concerned um, and I don't want to give the wrong impression to the new guys out there, but it's what you want your business to be detailed so you can charge more or the company that you want to be. Yeah. So. so put the edging down like that. Very nice. So it doesn't look, it doesn't look too much like a trench. See, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go get the boss more mulch. into the beds not the driveway back into the driveway you have to see the nice cut in edge down to the walkway here so you can bump the mulch up to it same thing here really nice and we'll clean this up on the outside here but there you go so we're going to move over here to this bed here and i'll find I can't believe I left my gloves. My hands are gonna dry out now. Okay, so this little area here is done. Um, not bad, not bad. This mulch is looking really nice, the double ground pine. I think it's gonna dry a lot lighter than this, but it'll still have like a quality to it. And now we're gonna do this here. Get as much in here as we can get done here. I think we're only gonna be able to probably do from here and just across, but. Start back there or here? Uh, I think we should go from, well, you can start back here, but I think I want to go as, across. Hopefully we can get just this whole area done, okay. right? So. 
Man, you're a hard worker, boss. I, I can't believe you're making us work in the snow. Hey, where's my um, electric wheelbarrow? Dead. We all fell off. Yeah, we need to go. We need to order the. Um, what are they? The run flat or the? Yeah, the run flat wheel. So let me help the boss get this done real quick. Guys, it's starting to snow. We're gonna get out of here and get home. Um, we gotta go to the store first. But here's an after of everything so far. Um, here's this bed. So we did one and a half yards so far. I don't know how long it took us. I'd have to look and see. But um, all the edges are nice and pretty. If you see, nice and pretty. See, the boss is putting down preen right now, sprinkling the preen, and she can do that because I have a license. And you guys do need a license to put down preen, snapshot, any of that stuff, especially if you're doing it for money. But um, three tips to when you're doing mulch beds. Spade the edges. It makes it stand out more than if you just lay the mulch into the edge, in my opinion, in our opinion. It looks nice and clean. Um, Make sure you prep the beds very well with weeds because you really don't need weed fabric. If the beds are overrun with weeds, I would go ahead and spray them. Don't weed eat them first, spray them first and come back in a few weeks and weed eat them because if you guys don't know, Roundup is systematic. It has to be absorbed through the leaves. It will work if you weed eat it first, but not as well. And what would be a third thing? Oh, put the preen down on top and that'll eliminate a lot of your weeds in your bed, so. Let's go ahead and get a quick walk through again. I didn't think we worked in the snow. Yeah. And we'll be back to finish that. Like I said, the mulch are closed. So we'll be back to finish the rest of this. So it goes all the way around here. Sorry, I'm sniffling, guys. And all the way around this side, and it's just a smaller bed in the back, and then around the other side. So maybe we'll come back tomorrow and do it in the afternoon. So let's pack up and get home before the roads get icy. Right? What? Get home before the roads get icy? Yeah. So I have to ask you a question. Yeah. Does she still look as good without her top on? I missed the top. The truck, you missed the top? I like it without it. Yeah, she's still pretty. <laughs> Looks like we finished just in time. I don't know how to drive in the snow. Really? I want a trailer on. Yeah. Well, we're just going to take our time getting home. That's it's just like a mixy. Yeah, it's just snow. a mix. But no, we don't plow because look at these mountain roads. They're scary. There's mountains out there, remember? <laughs> boss just got a settlement in the mail for $9.60 for ginger ale. I like 
checks like that that just like randomly show up at your doorstep yeah <laughs> she fills out these online things and gets money back from random people. yeah like i don't know if you guys know this but <laughs> um like you know with the whole thing i think it's the way i found it is i went on to fill out for the whole um equifax or yeah something? or the whatever the, the credit you credit yeah, so I went on there and then it was like something else like, have you bought this product? You know, because sometimes they write things on products like if they say um, natural and then it's not really natural, then eventually you get money back for. <laughs> Good one, boss. Good yeah. one. <laughs> so we're home now. I was bored one night. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> So we're we're home now. It's only 327 and we only did that one and a half yards of mulch. Um I'll probably do some stuff out here on the farm even though it's cold, but it's freezing. At least you guys seen how we do mulch. Um any other tips on mulching that you can give of us? Let us know. Do you guys edge your beds? Do you just use a weed eater? Do you just yeah, how throw do you it in guys the beds and lay it down? I mean, obviously, um, you know, again. The type of company we are and the type of clients that we have this is what they expect um this is what we started when we started 10 years ago yeah. we've been doing this for 10 years this is all our clients know mm -hmm. so um we get paid for what we do yes. we give quality work i mean there's guys around here that do mulch for 60 70 80 dollars a yard i can tell you we're and we're a lot more than that and we deserve it we we work our butts off and do the extra detail like you guys seen a lot of guys will spread mulch with a rake with a shovel no problem that's how they want to do it we spend a little more time and spread it by hand so it has that nice smooth detailed yeah. look just um, smoother and more even in my opinion um, you can just make sure that you're coning it around the plants properly, if yeah, that's the right word. The, yeah, you shouldn't be burying the trunks of any plants. Yeah, so, you know, you can just make sure that it's going exactly where you want it. Mm -hmm. And, yes, like, you will see me at times, like, scooting mulch. Like, I am a rake myself, but, again, I am judging where it's going. It's not just being scraped with And it. if you aren't spading the beds, at least um, any sidewalk areas or walkway areas, driveway, at least spade them a little bit. Um, that way it keeps it from spilling into the driveway. We do notice that a lot, especially at like the fast food places when they do mulch, um, they just let it come right into the walkway, into the driveways. Um, if you spade them driveways and walkways, it looks neater and there's less of a chance of it coming out into the, into your, I, and I, as you've seen our spaded edges, they look deep, but when we're done with the mulch, it only deep. sits about that hot, that much below it. And so. to be honest with you, the amount of rain that we've had over, you know, the past two, two seasons, um, the edges really don't stay there. We just, we mulched the, the neighbor at the end of the season last mm -hmm. year and i'm already there's enough mulch still there but you can see that the mulch is starting the to spill out into, into the, grass. the grass because the edges aren't defined like they were because of all the rain we yeah had. you go to a so. golf course you don't see them just lay the mulch down without edging it they're like precise at golf courses mm -hmm. everything's nice and neat um yeah. But that's how we do it. Like yeah. we said, everybody has their own way. If you're not spading, I'm not going to knock you how you do it. If your customers like that and you guys like doing it that way, that's how you guys do it. And that's just, we explain how we do it. Again, we are just here to share our journey and what we do in our business. And how we do things isn't always... No, I've, Some people might think they're efficient. wrong, they're yeah. right, but... That's how we do it. As long, listen. As long as you're doing things safely, and being aware of your surroundings, you can do it however way you want. Whatever I mean, works. Whatever for you. works for your business. Not everybody can afford to have the big, fancy bucket trucks and things like that to do things. So yeah, they might use tools that technically aren't the safest, but as long as you're being safe, you can get it done, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just being aware, I think, is your yeah, big thing. Aware you know, aware of your surroundings. Let me knock on family. wood, but the employee hasn't hurt himself in 30 years on the job. Yeah. So. I'm going to knock on wood. Maybe though. a little cut here and there on my finger, but no big deal. It happens. So. so 
We do appreciate you guys watching. So please like, comment, um, subscribe, and share. And be happy. Yes, or at least try. Have a good Have night, a good guys. Night.